As you see, I got some photos of a bear there, but I walked up closer to get uh, better photos. And she stood up in the bush, so I didn't go any further. And then I backed away. But to my left was two uh, two cubs, which I didn't even know about. smoked salmon, it's hard to see it, but so that guy just leaving down to pick up Mike uh, from Hyder, lives here all his life, he just comes out with his fishing rod and he's like, oh, kind of like surprised to see me camping here, turns out a big grizzly, <laughs> that's his fishing spot right, right at the end of that tree, there, and uh, this is his, this is his stretch, he says it's a massive grizzly, but um, he fishes right along this this piece of river here, and uh, he goes, "Man, you were lucky. You, you, he's, he, he couldn't get over it like that. I camped here. Goes, you must have something to protect yourself." I was like, "Yeah, of course I do." But if you're asleep, Jesus! If he pounced on you, you're fucked. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my salmon. It's smoked with uh, sugar and some sort of salt. Like it's got this kind of, it looks like kind of a brown sauce, it looks unreal. It's crazy. He's telling me that on the height, every new or every high tide, it's a new batch of fish just swimming in. Like, there's so many, I could just go and hand pick them. If I had a net now, I'd probably just grab one. But they're too big, like, I don't want to waste them because I have a tiny little frying pan, I can't cook them. So, anyway, I'm gonna finish packing up and get the hell out of here. So this is Fish Creek, um, it's like a big boardwalk here, lots of people down there with fancy cameras trying to get a picture of a bear or a video, but the bears didn't come out yesterday, but as you can see all the salmon are going 
nuts spawning and dying. It's kind of a sad process. Lots of dead salmon just lying there in the river, but uh, it's part of the life cycle, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna go and look at this glacier now in a while. I'll come back later and see if there's a bear around, but hopefully, I see one on my way. So, I've just taken over this toilet. Making a mess, so I've got my helmet, my bag, bike is outside. And there's a glacier right there. But, I can't see it. I'm gonna bring it up and show you why. It's pissing rain. Pissing rain, it's cloudy. Anyway, um, I've been here an hour now waiting for it to clear and I'm gonna wait another hour because it is spectacular. This is what it's gonna look like. Let's see if you can see this. Hmm. And it, it kinda goes out to the left and right and it is just it's spectacular, it's free for once, you don't have to pay for it. Just sitting down on my seat here. But um so that's my life now for the next two hours. I've finished that salmon, that smoked sm salmon I got off Mike earlier. I think it's Mike. Metacyclist Chris. He was just up here, he, he got lucky with the weather and he's then he's getting drowned on the way down, alright. There's a guy out there sitting in a Ford Focus selling uh DVDs, bear fights, and glacier views, and I don't know. Anyway, what can I do? It's pissing, I, I really want to see this. I need to hit the road too, but I don't care. God, it's magnificent. You know, like, I have my drone, I'd love to fly it. Whether that'll happen or not. Anyway, okay. Well, this is disappointing. That's what I wanted to see. So you see the glacier comes right down and curls left and right and it is absolutely stunning like I can't see it. Pretty pissed about that. Rain and clouds. <sighs> so it's now 20 to 4 in the evening. I've been sitting here for like three and a half hours. It's pissing rain. And I'm too tight to buy accommodation, do you know what I'm saying? So, you know that stupid challenge I, uh, I created for myself and basically not paying for accommodation for three months in North America? Well, I'm two months in, haven't paid yet. And I'm stubborn, I'm not gonna pay. So I am really homeless tonight, it's pissing down, I'm not putting up my tent. It is, um, show you. Yeah, it is just miserable. Anyway, got my dinner on, I've got some chicken, peas, and um, rice. Some stock cubes in there. It's come along nicely. Anyway, I think that's where my home is tonight, right there. I'm not even going to bother putting up the tent, I'm just going to put down my sleeping mat and go to sleep. Hopefully no bears come in around me, but there shouldn't be any bears in town tonight because uh, they're all out eating all the fucking salmon. There's salmon everywhere. So that's it. So as you see, and I got some photos of a bear there, but I walked up closer to get uh, better photos. And she stood up in the bush, so I didn't go any further. And then I backed away, but right to my left was two uh, two cubs, which I didn't even know about. Thanks, I didn't go any closer. I'll be asking for trouble. But I walk back here where I'm just tightening my uh, chain, and she comes out across the road, 
gets one of the cups, brings it on with her. Then about two minutes later, the other cup catches up, but he's injured. Something's happened to his leg where a car hit him. And uh, he's making a weird noise. I couldn't believe it. it was a, That's what a bear, the, the noise a bear makes. But he was calling for his mother. I don't know if there's much hope for him. He's pretty injured. So anyway, I'm going to keep going, but that was pretty close. Considering I was in a world of my own here, just working on this thing. And this here is, um, what is this called? This is Battle Hill. It's an old native settlement, like a, so we have them at home, like a hill fort in the 1700s. Okay, just got my new tire fitted. Good to go. Maybe Thanks again, lads. With you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>